says last. <laughs> okay. That feels like huh. um so it's gonna be I middle. don't know what we're doing anymore. We have to hold on to the last minute and hope that our Medusa is gonna carry us type of team. So it's middle Medusa, I guess. Um Right? You sure. think it's gonna be it has to be off lane puck, or else who'd be your supports? Oh well, Weaver can be yeah. off lane as well. With the new patch and Soul Ring's just better on Dragonite now. Sure you don't get the mana regen, but the double gauntlet build up is very nice with that ring regen. Give the father again, he comes in, does manage to take one of the large creeps from the side pool. They may be able to take his life though. They're blocking him up, him up nicely. They have the slows. He's got a lot of one charge. He does, here. in fact. And with them, is it going to be enough to keep him alive? They've, they've got, got the stun. They got oh, they've got him indeed. Tomato gets the first bug. Very nicely done. It's tough to go for Tomato though. They actually used the gush aggressively. Cinderin's here. I don't know if they saw Puppy at all though. They could try to turn for something did. here. If Puppy can get a good cast bounce. They can have a good shot at it. But he's, they saw him now. Yeah, he's not going to get the bounce out. He'll just put down the Maledict. They are. The gaps are oh long. yeah, he's gonna come in with a big old fish here. He's looking for the perfect angle. He'll get a couple of them. They look towards Stin. Still has the maledict upon him, but is in fact gonna be Puppy the first to fall. But it's actually trapped by the fissure. Oh no! Oh, the raindrop absorbs one tick of the of, of, of the fissure initial damage, and then he carapaces to block out the second maledict tick. Oh, he should finish it with the next wave. Cancel. Getting himself away from mid, looking to pick up the rune. This time, cares it. Will be able to leave it for him. It up mid lane, dragon tails down. They've managed to get some dragon on dragon on action, and mid one's gonna take the lead. Gets the kill, but he's now in trouble himself. Canceling Kezu, the hunting for it. They do take it. So mid one overstepping the mark and uh, giving away his life. Yep. And uh, with the armor done, that, that certainly could happen. I think get him involved in the action. Mid lane, mid one pops the other dragon form again. This tier one very low. Actually, Cinderin came under the wraparound. He's, he's going to take the Maledict straight to the head. Jump forward. Cancel gets the two-man Dream Call. They're looking to bring down mid one with magical damage from Weeha. Have they got enough? It doesn't look like they have. Dragon Tail comes through as they turn back towards Kezu. The, ra the Ravage from Fada catching all the middle feet out, meaning that they could do anything to react to that. They do get the Tower Deny. Can they actually catch anything off of this? I mean, they certainly stopped the Tower from going down. Mid one. It's coiled up. Cinderin's there as well with the Vendetta, with the Silence. They've got a good chance of getting mid one park paralyzing cars coming through. He's not going to buy time or space to save mid one. Mid one's down. Ace has turned up in town. He's looking for the turnaround. Looks for Sin. Rage chase down. Ice Path not going to be there to hold him back because the magic immunity is still out. Life still finds the kill in return. But again, this is mid one going down. Not really looking attack. to jump back in himself, though, as there isn't, isn't any backup quite there for middle feed. But he'll keep eyes on them nonetheless, get that info. Cinder and heads in with the Vendetta as well. They want Fada. With so much lockdown, they might be able to get him here. He's pretty tanky, 13 armor, but with the magic damage, with the veil as well. They're gonna have a good yeah, shot at it. Down. Fada has got the Ravage, he's on to three. Back up there as well with the Cask and the Maledict. Oh, this may get a bit messy for middle feed. They've already lost the dragon. They'll lose Cinderin as well. Ace is working on to cancel. Butter is still alive amongst this all. He goes for the TPI. He's not going to make it. Middle feed will at least punish the timber as it punish the. In the meanwhile, and here we go. The infest comes out. They found oh, they go for it. He doesn't have the energy. Oh, he didn't have the shield on. out. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, I mean, to be fair, that was the Shadow Blade reveal, but uh, you can guarantee that. Oh boy, that was an instant kill, like right yeah. when they get the Shadow Blade, right, right away. Oh, that's oh. DD range. Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh, oh, it's mine, son! Looks for the setup onto this dragon, and I tell you what, they're only gonna go and be able to kill him down. There's four heroes surrounding him, Ace. We'll try for some response. And does. No! Ooh, just gets in. Last second of that rage before the Spike Carapace would have affected him. Pick that bounty run, and now Secret with that Desolator freshly picked up on Ace. They're going to infest inside of Yapsor, and they're going to look for a big play here. Whoever they jump will be dead, even the Medusa. Even with the mana shield. going to break the smoke. Sentry's down. Cast comes out. Oh, there it goes. The bounce does occur as well. Bouncing over towards Weeha. Sin turns with the stun onto two, but there's the jump. With the life stealer straight away onto Weeha. The dragon is down. They're heading over. Puppy holding back Kezu with the car. Kezu now looking towards him. In fact, Puppy's gone. He'll be healed up by the mech. That's not enough to save him. Kezu now thinking about moving in for more, but... There's still an Echo Slam, there's still a Ravage. It's very hard for Middle Feet to fight into this. They, they seem to intend to do so, but there's the Ravage straight after the Echo Slam. They burst down Kezu, they, they get Cinder, and Tomato does get the Stone Gaze out. There's been a Dream Call onto three, but the damage is just lacking for Middle Feet. They can't do anything with that. Cinder's brought back. 
They do have the shrine up, so they are going to shrine heal. So the Roche is only half HP, and that's Echo Slam and Ravage expended. Ace trying to heal up off those Ancients. He's going to get some decent healing coming out. Sin lands a stun. Mana burn is Juan Fada. The mid one is ready to join as well. Oh. Blinks in with the Shadow Blade. Gets the stun on to Sinner and Sinner and down for 40. Death War beating into cancel. He has mid the face shift trying to get out of there, but Ace gets the touch and cancel is going to go down. Mid or feed. Just leaking kills. And Tomato is he actually going to get away. They've got the cast. Buying time for Ace to close the gap. Open wounds back up. Medusa in trouble as Yapsa blocks him off with the Fissure. And things are starting to get drastically out of hand for middle feed. Yep, they by the middle feed ward. They do know that is happening at least for the time being, but can't even do anything about it. Mid one just taking top tower. Look at Fada. He's actually just standing in mid. Oh, yeah. He's getting auto oh. by tomorrow. Oh, he's got cancel. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, so. Fada is literally just standing between the two creep waves and just getting attacked by everybody. He's probably going to pay with his life for this. I mean, surely he does. Oh, we say that. Yeah, I think he might just live. He's walking it off. They're trying to chase, but the heal's there from Puppy. M Midwood's sort of been tag-teamed awkwardly into this one. He'll put the BKB, but he's been surrounded by mid or feed. He's dead. And, uh, yeah, Fada may have escaped. Oh, my God. Is he going to live, too? No, surely. Are you kidding oh me? Oh, my goodness. They just split up and went for the different targets because it went north. And fast and mid one's already on the prowl for him. Oh. Oh, there's the orb. Here. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he can necessarily do it on his own. He'll certainly give it a good try. Gapsar with the oh, echo, though. Okay, that, that will do it. That's more than enough. Ace with the kill secure. Yep. Yes. Tactical play. 12k gold lead, 27 minutes in this one. Getting a little grim for middle feed. It's getting better at hand. Oh, Puppy and Fada playing around the sentry. Here. Thinned. In a lot of trouble here. Oh. I guess that was done, though. I mean, Kez is there as well, but indeed the Ravage death ward out as well. Kez will move forward. And uh, with the lack of lockdown, he should be fine to play around. I don't know if he's quite got the damage to bring down Puppy. But the Vigor Restoration, I don't think he has. They'll throw in Wee Hearts to mix him with the ult down Puppy. I don't think he stands a chance to get that against that. He, he will finally fall. But the Absor's here, and he's bringing in a big old surprise for Weeha. Ace jumps out, Wee's gone. Oh, Kezu, mid one knows where he is now, too. Don't think they're going to catch him here. It's pretty elusive, Weaver, and the bug is still on Yapsor, so he can't really get that blink off in time. And here we go, the infested Shadow Blade Yapsor. He wants to look for something here. Let's see what they can do. With a stun, straight up to Tomato. Ravage as well. It's very hard for the rest of the team to come in and offer any sort of help for Tomato. And Tomato's gone. That's the carry down. 70 seconds. No buyback. He's farmed all game. But. That's just it. I think that is just it. Secret. No chill from the side. They're playing their best. And middle feed are struggling against this, this Titan of a team. With such an unorthodox draft, it's going to happen. You know, that's. I think that their their game plan got really messed up by the Tidehunter pick and they just tried to make some adjustments and it's really not working out for them so well. Oh! Yeah, with the whiffed Echo Slam. Oh, the BM Echo, I love it. I mean, that castle's still gonna die, I think. Oh! They have got that Axe time lapse that does, does actually keep Council alive. Yeah, two Racks just claimed though, and they're not stopping. They're continuing. Oh, on. and ooh, they don't have the detection they're on Sin. Oh, Spike Carapace and Stun on Safada. Can they actually kill him though? I don't know. Kez is trying for it. But with the Axe build, he doesn't do a lot of right click himself. We are trying to slow them down. Town Potter with the Ice Path. They can have Tomato back up in six seconds. He's getting a little low. He still has the Rage. Backs off. It's the Midas. Can they finish up the kill? They can. That's nice. They bring Ace down, but indeed the damage is certainly already being done. Puppy trying for the TP away. We'll make it. 13, 14,000 experience lead for them as well. Oh, Puppy is in trouble. Sing comes in with a surprise play. Peter Restoration's out. It's actually, well, it's actually enough to keep Puppy alive. Puppy's going to survive through that. They're bringing everyone in. Middle feed going for some crazy stuff down on this bottom lane. There's no life stealer for 30 seconds. He does have buyback if he wishes to do so. Cancel jumping in with the dream call. In fact, they're able to take down Puppy. Get the kill, they get out. Tomato pops the stone gaze. And with the ice path, the stone gaze is going to proc on this dragon. He's very, very tanky though. He's got a heart. Do they have the damage to kill mid one? I don't think they do. Tomato's got to be careful as they're looking to turn back in on him. Another ice path holding mid one in place, but the Vita restoration from Puppy 
keeping Milburn alive. Fada has the Ravage, he gets them all. Everyone getting caught out. Free Matt Fisher comes through. GG, well played, is called. They're out of the middle feed. They, they, they've not got a chance here at all in this series. Secret, Secret taking an easy stroll to victory in both games. I've done it again. Yeah, this one just looked so difficult, even from the start of the game. You saw just the difference in the laning uh, phase aspect.